Hey y'all, um, it's Danny here. And I've been wanting to talk about something that's been getting into me lately. Okay, so, I've noticed that most of y'all have been getting depressed, feel ugly, and quite a few of y'all have been taking up self harm. And it sucks because I know exactly how y'all feel. And I care enough for y'all to make this video. This is not an easy video to make. First of all, every single one of y'all is beautiful. Regardless of anything bad about y'all that anybody's ever said, because they lie, they're wrong. Every single one of you is beautiful. And I know quite a few of y'all are like, um, you're lying to me, but really I'm not. I know that I'm not seeing you, I don't know how you look, but there's always something beautiful in a person. You know, regardless of your weight, how tall or short you are, there's always something good about you. And uh, you gotta find it. Look for something that you like about yourself. Once you find it, remember yourself that you have that, and that you like that about yourself. Don't make, you know, it's, it seems stupid. Something little, but that little things in time can help. You know, all these girls try to look like the girls in the magazines. I've seen the one to look like the girls in the movies. Like singers, I mean, yeah, they'll look good. But you know, they don't even look like that in real life. They're not more people like you and me. You know, when you see it in the magazines, that's all edited. Most of it, it's Photoshop, whatever it is. But you know, the people are just like you and me. They're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But, you know, striving to be perfect, it can kill you because you're never going to make it to be fully perfect. You're never going to be happy with yourself that way. That's why you got to just try to learn how to love yourself. And be comfortable in your own body. You know. Talk about depression now. Yeah like things can get hard. I understand life's hard. It's not an easy road. But that's the beauty of it. You learn from. Hard times of your life. Which can make you stronger. You know. There's times that I wanted to just die. Like. I didn't want to be in this world anymore because I was just so unhappy. You know, sixth grade, I moved here from my country, Colombia. I had no idea how to speak English. I was pretty much alone in school because I couldn't talk to anyone. Nobody would want to talk to me. So, anytime that they do, would want to talk to me, they'll be like, oh, say this or say that to someone. And they, it would always be like, a curse word, and I would say, you know, because I was dumb, I guess, right? I couldn't understand English. And I would, you would surely do something bad towards someone, and they would get offended, and I would probably get beat up. And that was for a while. Like, I would get beat up constantly in school, sixth grade towards eighth grade. That's when I actually caught on in English and stopped. But, you know, there were hard times, you know. Those times where I would just constantly be getting beaten up, I would just, I didn't want to live with that. I didn't want to be beating up every day. I didn't want to be, look like a fool. Because I feel like they thought of me as a fool. They would just do anything that they would say. And honestly, I was. But, you know, ninth grade came, and I, I grew that. I learned how to speak English, and it was over. They wouldn't mess with me that way anymore because they couldn't. I didn't give them the power to. You know, after that, Icarus started going. Uh, I started actually looking myself how I looked. I didn't like the way I looked. You know, I always thought my nose was big. I hated my hair. And I always tried to be looking better than for myself, you know. And I couldn't ever do it. So, like I said earlier, I just stopped. And I start trying to actually like myself. Um, 
freshman year, it was definitely one of my craziest years. You know, I, ch I actually try to make a lot of friends now that I can speak English. And I did, I made a lot of friends. <sighs> but they weren't really friends. They never really talked to me again, ever. Um, sophomore year, most of those friends were gone. Junior year, I had two friends left in high school, and they uh, went different schools for senior year, so I'm friends with them now, and uh, really when I hit a really, really, really bad depression point, it's last day of school, you know, it's kind of ironic because, you know, most kids would be like, oh, last day of school, I'm so happy summer's coming. Well, it's just really depressing to see your whole class say bye to each other and nobody would say bye to you. It just sucks. But, um, you know, life's hard. It's not easy, like I said. But I'm still here. I'm still going through whatever is going to happen next to the journey. And, uh, you know, cell phone's not really the answer either, because cell phone is just like avoiding the problem, you know. I, I know that quite a few of y'all cut, and uh, it just kind of releases you from, I'm going to call it a problem. But if you're just cutting through it, you're not really helping much the problem. You're just making yourself avoid it, and that's why it gets worse, because you you really hurt just hurting yourself, you know. It's not really helping yourself. And like, this is hard. Freshman year, I did start cutting too. I went through that. And um, it can actually like, it to take over. Like, I would cut every day. It didn't help me at all. It just left scars on my body that I'm not going to show. I'm not really proud of it. But. It's, sorry, this is hard. It's just. Things that I don't want to talk about much. But it just doesn't help. It just makes you weaker. You know. But like I said, you're just avoiding the problem. So if you address the problems at once and you try to fix them, they're not going to build up and you're not going to explode and you're not going to go to self harm. You know, just try to fix things up right away. Don't let them build up to you and it just explode. Because that's when bad things happen. And I don't want you to go through that. I want you to be happy, and I wish I could make you all happy, and I'm trying, but I try to be happy myself too. But yeah, I just want to say that every single one of you is beautiful, and I love you, and I care about you, so that's why I made this video, because I don't know any other way to let you all know that. So, I hope it helps somehow.